Now, we heard Tom mention a moment ago that the PBOC's uh, Yigang never really said that seven uh, was a line in the sand for the yuan, it was uh, just a number. Um, so if we step back from this, uh, give this whole currency manipulation thing a good, cold, dispassionate stare, did China just let the market do its work here? Yeah, I mean, you could argue that, uh, you know, the, the fixing yesterday was only 229 points. And uh, if you look back in May, you know, as, as recently as May, they actually had a fix that was uh, well over 300 points, in fact, in two consecutive days. Uh, but at the time, we were talking about the retaliatory uh, tariff measures that China was taking. So that sort of floated under the radar. So the move last night in terms of the actual fixing was uh, sort of in line. The PBOC could kind of step back and point to it and say, hey, the dollar's been rallying. And we just sort of fixed in line with where we think it should be. So it wasn't really an extreme move. But the market was definitely set up for something out of China in response to what Trump had been tweeting about and, and the tariff increases, et cetera. And the moment, you know, you had a above, above average fix relative to the past couple of weeks or so, uh, the market just jumped on it. And we flew right through seven. Seven, of course, the psychological uh, level everyone was pretty much keying on. And it sort of snowballed from there. So it's, it's a little, uh, I guess, ironic in a way that such a small little adjustment is, is causing such a big, uh, you know, such a big reaction, um, and it just keeps on snowballing. Yeah, huge. When you take a look at this GTV chart on the Bloomberg, you can see that the onshore yuan is now way beyond what analysts had expected when it came to year-end forecasts. And given the fact that we continue to see this gap between the offshore and the onshore yuan, does that mean that the onshore really still has more room to fall? Uh, it definitely could. I mean, I, I think right now it's all going to depend on China's response to this labeling of a, as a current currency manipulator. Uh, again, they can kind of still point to needing to adjust dollar CNY higher just based upon what the dollar has been doing, dollar appreciation. Uh, but now we have this new wrinkle of uh, what's the political implications of, of them being named a manipulator. Do they want to sort of take this head on and continue to uh, fix dollar CNY higher, or do they want to take a step back and pause for a bit and see if they can get things back on track dipl diplomatically? Uh, so it'll be interesting to see 9:15 what happens uh, with the fixing. And yet, if we continue to see more tariffs from the U.S., especially those additional ones on Chinese goods, given the fact that the terms of trade for China would be worsening, how much more pressure are we going to expect on the yuan? Yeah, I mean, China still has a lot of tools available in the toolkit. I mean, they definitely can, you know, they've been using them. Uh, there is still more they could do on the fiscal side, perhaps, more on the monetary side, perhaps. It felt to me like the currency was always sort of the last, uh, the last thing they would go for in terms of trying to stimulate the economy. So, you know, it, it is there. It's a policy tool they can use. I think they're reluctant to really overly use it. And I think they're probably, quite frankly, going to be a bit surprised at the extreme reaction both in the market and from President Trump in terms of, uh, you know, the, the relatively soft fixing hire they gave us last night. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see. I mean, they definitely have plenty of room to, uh, to weaken the yuan further uh, in order to stimulate the economy. But I, I do feel that, that that would be at the expense of noise around capital flight uh, and probably pushed back from a lot of G10, G20 central bankers who basically said, hey, we had agreed at, at the G20 not to do this sort of thing. So they're, they're in dangerous territory if they keep pushing the envelope here.